Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, we are going to be making mini match pistols. This is going to be a very simple project, and all you'll need is two things. These over here are very little miniature cap guns I purchased from my local dollar store. As you can see, they are two different varieties. I will get into what you want to look for in a second. But you will need a mini cap gun of some sort. And of course, a box of matches for your ammunition. So here are the two cap guns I purchased. Um, only one is useful for this video today. In order to be useful for this project, it must have a hollow barrel. Which, as you can see, when I removed the orange cap, on this Derringer style cap gun you can see that the barrel is in fact hollow all the way from the front back to where the hammer would hit. Unfortunately on this old Luger style, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I'm pretty sure that's what this is, it has just a solid steel pipe for a barrel so we cannot use this gun today. So let's go ahead and modify the Derringer. The first step is to make a clear path from the tip of the barrel all the way back to where the hammer would usually strike and to do that we must get rid of this blockage which is where you would originally put the cap and on this specific cap gun holding it together was two rivets one there one there and since it was just Chinese metal all I did was take a hot knife wasn't quite a thousand degrees though and just took the heads off of those rivets which then allows me as you can see here to pry the two halves of the gun apart. Kind of just get your fingernail in there and pry it apart. So I'm going to very carefully now bend the two halves apart. As you can see, you must take the halves apart because this is on a rod. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this off the rod and put it back together with some super glue. Now if by some slim chance you do actually have the exact same gun as me, you will realize when you take it apart that the pieces fly everywhere. So what, what I decided to do was this took me about half an hour to reassemble, but this is I believe the correct positioning of the hammer, trigger, and there's a little black spring you can see right there. And they just sit all nice and pretty. Then you go ahead and put the other half of the casing on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then let's do some shooting tests. Here it is all reassembled. First I'll show you how to shoot it. Just pull the thing back, grab a lovely little match, put it all the way down the barrel, and then maybe sticking out about that much, point out whatever you want to shoot at, and off it goes. Let's light them on fire. Last shot before the fire, just because before you couldn't tell how far it went. Firing in three, two, one. Pretty much hit the wall over there from a pistol about this big. Pretty cool if you ask me. First test with a lit match. I think it makes more sense to load the match in first. Make sure it's all ready to go so you don't light your hand on fire trying to load it in. Hold on to it by the back of the gun. Let's go ahead and light it on fire. Don't try this at home kids. I've set up a relatively safe firing range into my metal sink. I'm being careful to light it nicely. There we go. Firing into the sink in three, two, one. May have went out in midair, but I'll try again with something flammable. Here we go, put some ax in the sink. Let's try again. Firing in three, two, one. Yep, does look to put it out midair, but maybe that'll make for a good slow-mo. Here we go with the slow motion shot. Firing in three, two, one. So I turn out the lights now. You'll be able to see a little bit when I strike my match, but I'm gonna go ahead and shoot one in the dark for you guys. There it is, firing in three, two, one. Alright, so thanks for watching everyone. I bet if you had some more wind resistant matches or something, it would work a lot better in the shooting test if you wanted to actually light something on fire. But it was still really fun to shoot. 
It would also work with toothpicks or whatever else really fit in the barrel and was cylindrical. Just like that. But it's actually surprisingly powerful because of the quick stopping motion. It really flicks it, you may say. And obviously it cost me about 75 cents to make. So pretty sick. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.